Hey YouTube, Ron here with another lawn care update. Just want to give you guys an update since it's been a little over three weeks uh, since I had that fertilizer spill. I want to show you guys the two spots to see how they're coming back. Uh, if you look here, this guy is still there. You can still kind of see it. Well, actually, you can still see it quite a bit, uh, but it's not as bad as it was, uh, you know, you know, last week before that. And then the big the big spill, the fertilizer stain of death. <laughs> it's just things pain. It pains me every time I come out here to mow the lawn and see this thing, but it's definitely looking a lot better compared to, again, you know, last week and, and uh, uh, certainly more, definitely a lot better than when it was when it first happened. So you can kind of see, I mean, it's still, still, um, you know, really, really brown right here in the middle, but it's, it's starting to fill in, which is, which is nice. You know, it's coming along. So it just takes time. Again, with Bermuda, it's incredibly hard to kill it, so uh, that uh, that's uh, that's where we currently are. I think probably another eh, probably another two weeks, three weeks. It should be should be fully recovered and won't be able to see it. So just that's a good little uh, you know I guess a good little experiment for you guys that have a Bermuda lawn. Get, kind of gives, lets you know uh, how long it's going to take if you make a mistake for it to repair itself. So if we walk around here to the front, I'll show you guys how the front's looking. In here, I had some of uh, that nut sedge and the, whoever was in the comments that suggested me to try out that image uh thanks for that recommendation you kind of let me get in here a little closer you guys can see how it's working it's killing off that nut sedge that i had all inside here and it's still left the bermuda for the most part in pretty good shape again because of the way the lawn drains like this this whole section in here just gets a lot of water through it so like the nut sedge just loves to grow there so we'll come around here to the front and uh just let you guys know i cut this uh, yesterday, so what you're seeing is a day, you know, day old mow. This is how the rest of the front's looking. So that this is like the best part of the lawn, almost always, because I think I think it has to do with the fact that uh, this grass gets a lot of heat because it's got like concrete on all three sides of it, right? So it always looks really, really green and lush and looks looks nice. It's almost some of the best part looking of the lawn. And then the front lawn. You can see where that currently is. Again, looking pretty good. Uh, you guys probably don't, re don't remember that uh, several, if you guys have been following this for a while, right here, you can't really see anymore, but that right there used to be a tree. And you can still kind of see a teeny bit of the remnants of it, like right in here. Like that's like a, a section where you can kind of see where the grass is not fully 100% filled in, but overall it looks pretty good. Uh, the lawn's drying out a little bit because we haven't had rain for, Oh man, probably two weeks now, and I haven't been watering it. So what you're seeing here is, uh, you know, Bermuda grass lawn with no water for two weeks, and uh, you know, still looking pretty good. Still looking pretty good. So there's my update. I wanted to give you guys a quick one, just so you guys can see what the state of the lawn is. If you guys like this, please comment, like, share, subscribe. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. I did the review of my lawn equipment there last week, so if you haven't checked that out, uh, give that a look. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.